Hello everyone, welcome to the Ingleside Public Library Virtual After School Program, or as I'm going to continue to say until it catches on, the If Labs. Anyway, so today I'm going to use the magic of editing and show you how to make one of these and turn it into a mouse. So the mouse is going to look like this. Okay, so now that we're back, we are going to, as you can tell, the mouse is uh, back in pieces, and we're going to use glue to make the mouse. Anyway, so to get into the holiday spirit, as you may be able to tell, I have painted my nails with some of the office supplies in an attempt to make them look like candy canes. Wow, that paint looks horrible, you might say. Well, that's not paint, buddy. That's white out and sharpie. Anyway, so, you're going to get a bag that looks something like this. It has directions and pieces in it. I, fortunately, already have a bag of my own, and that is this one. So, you're going to dump it out, and you're going to get this piece of red foam. You're going to get some suggestions. Some people like to call those directions. I refuse to acknowledge um, that I actually have to follow them, but occasionally it does help. Uh, you're going to get one button. That's going to be the nose. You're going to get these two little tufts of white, uh, I don't know what this material is. Foam? Not foam. Something. Anyway, you're going to get these two white tufts of it, and those, those are going to be the ears. These are going to be the insides of the ears, those pink things. This, uh, this green, this green bow over here. And of course, that's going to, it's a bow, and it represents a bow. And then you have these two little black dots, and those are going to be the eyes. Why does mine have a third eye, or a third black dot? The world may never know. Anyway, so, to start this off, you're going to, of course, use an adhesive. I am using a hot glue gun, so rather than attempting to put everything into place and burning myself by holding it and putting some glue on it, I'm going to put one little drop of glue there. Of course, that's more than a drop, you know. So, my mouse, his eyes might not be even, but that's okay. Alright, so those are his eyes. Of course, you're going to take this little button, and it is of course going to be the nose, so to do that you're going to put some glue on the button and you're gonna glue it over at the very end, edge sorry now for the ears you're going to put glue along the edge where you have it so it will connect onto the main body now you're going to take the little pink things they look like this and you're going to put glue on the back and make sure that it goes onto the white little part and that way it, it represents the the ears you're going to take your bow put a little piece of glue on that and put it up here at the very very top and then you're going to take perhaps the most important part to all of this your candy canes. So you're going to take one and 
You're going to wait till everything is dried and hopefully you don't glue it to the table. And as you'll notice here, it has some pre-cut areas. And you're going to kind of put it in from the back. And then, of course, have it go down the front. You know, and there's your, there's your candy cane mouse. You can use it as an ornament, you know, or just a cute little decoration. Uh, yes, so that's that's this uh, what this end product is going to look like. So as you can see, it's not very complicated. Uh, hopefully, you know your mouse's eyes will be lined up, whereas mine are not. Anyway, so uh, thank you, boys and girls, for joining us today. Um, remember to join us next time, uh, where we will have, of course, another another exciting episode for you guys. Um, so the, of course, uh, you know, be sure to hurry up and come in because we're only we only have about twelve left, and uh, you know we want to make sure that you're able to put this together. And if for some reason, you know, you you find my instruction too boring, don't worry, because uh, it does come with a little instruction sheet, so you can absolutely follow along with that if you if you feel the need. So thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you guys just have a a wonderful day. And bye-bye.